At the beginning of modern Indian art, there was Amrita Shergill. The daughter of a wealthy Sikh landlord, Umrao Singh, and Marie Antoinette, a Hungarian opera singer. Amrita went to study art in Paris when she was just 16, where she immediately asserted her free spirit and intent to become a serious artist by making passionate, provocative self-portraits. The majority of her self-portraits, in fact, were done in the first two years or so when she went to Paris. So she's uh, exceptionally, you know, young there. But I think that for that brief period, it sort of uh, pushed herself that here I'm, you know, going to be an artist. I'm going to make myself as an artist uh, and go beyond just the life studies or, you know, the various things that an art student does. And the self-portraits very much mark that, uh, that personality. And within the self-portraits, uh, there's a whole range of uh, ways that, that she's handling them, very expressionistically, then quite melancholically. Uh, and then, of course, the most provocative one is self-portrait as Tahitian, uh, just before she comes back to India. Amrita travelled across the country on her return in 1934, absorbing the several indigenous traditions of painting from the frescoes of Ajanta to Pahari miniatures. But her subject matter remained Indian women in their secluded settings. Artists like Raja Ravi Varma and Rabindranath Tagore before her and contemporaries like Ram Kinkar Bej also painted the female form, but she went beyond. The difference would be was that uh, Amrita tried to kind of understand uh, the female uh, person uh, in both uh, a sense of uh, their representation, cultural and, and otherwise, but also in a very subtle way, uh, a kind of uh, emotional, uh, to some extent psychological uh, state or, or being that, that they were. She was not an expressionist artist, she didn't speak about the angst of the woman, but I think that uh, a careful examination uh, of her work definitely shows a very complex positioning of the woman uh, at these multi-levels. In Bride's Toilet, one of Amrita Shedgill's most well-known works inspired by Ajanta, Mumbai-based artist Anju Dodia finds a connection. Uh, I enjoy the painting not because it's a woman's room, but you know, like I start with the other things. I, I start with the form, yeah, certainly. And then of course her, her personal engagement with the idea of being close to women, the, the women's conversation or you know, other things that had to do with that uh, gender. Anju is also preoccupied with the play of emotions. I think uh, uh, in most of my paintings, the figure is, uh, is a human being and uh, it's about that person's anxiety or uh, fear or, you know, emotional states really. So, so the work is about emotional states, it could be anyone. But uh, yeah, they seem to be females and uh, uh, they're often artists, uh, not necessarily women artists. Uh, there's this emotional theatre which I'm interested in. But she does not deliberately paint women. As a woman, I feel I am not obliged to speak for women or uh, paint women. Or You know, it, the, the painting I think comes from uh, a certain kind of, it's a path of inquiry which is going in maybe psychological areas. But uh, uh, I am not making any commitment to my gender. It's not about that.